Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to create a simple login UI using Jetpack Compose. Along the way, you are going to learn how to manage state and customize UI element to suit your design. So as you can see here, we are going to create this using Jetpack Compose and also we can try to navigate to different screens as here we have two buttons, the sign in and sign up. For example, here you can just navigate to sign in and this one's going to take you to the sign in page. And as you can see here, we have text fields and other things when you enter here you can just try and just enter a username and also here you can enter a password and you can check this box here and also you can click this button to navigate you to the dashboard now here for example also we have another another page here you can just sign click this button here and it's going to take you to the sign up page here and also you can use this so we are going to learn how to manage the states and other things and also in this video we're just going to focus on the ui element part and in the next video we are going to focus on jetpack compose navigation so stay tuned let's get started okay now we have navigated inside here android studio so we can start to build our project first and foremost we have to customize our application to suit our need and we can do this using the ui and we can navigate here to theme and we can add here colors which we are going to use so we are going to add here green and gold which you can try and use them and we can navigate here to shape also we want to change the shape here because we want a rounded corner so when we use our buttons and other things so we are going to use a rounded corner of 30 dp and we are changing this inside the the material theme so that we can easily use them and easily change them so we don't have to track back the code and we can do these minor changes so we can come here to this theme here and we can try to change here for example our primary color so here we can use the green which we have specified now after that we have here several colors which we want to override so we are going to override the on primary and we want to make this a white color so after that we are done here to customize our theme so we can start to build our application okay now let's navigate here to login ui and create a new coding class or file and then we're going to select this file here and then we are going to call this log okay now let's create here a new composable and then this one we are going to call it login after that we are going to display here our navigation or for now we are just going to display our pages here independently for that case now we can create another composable which is going to specify our landing page so here we are going to call this landing okay now we can start to create our landing page so let's see first our landing page then we can start to code as you can see here our landing page has several text here and buttons and also it has a background which has been drawn here and there is no composable or any api can do this other than the canvas and we can use this to display with other components using a box and then we can draw from behind and then create our custom our custom background now to do this just let's navigate here to this landing page here and then we can create here more room then after that we can create here a box now in order to draw this as you can see here if you don't know basics of this canvas i have a video which is going to talk about this canvas in depth you can find the video in the link in the cards above so let's just navigate here you can see we are going to draw this canvas to start from this point to this point then we draw a curve to this point here and then we close our path now to do this we are going to use a simple path and then we can draw it so for this case here let's create here a new variable and then this variable we're going to call path and then we want to insert here a path now after that we could create here more room so now we want to create here a path Now inside this path we want to move to. So we want to start at the first edge and the first edge is going to be 0f, 0f. So we are moving to the top edge. Now we want to draw around this to the left edge. So we are moving from this starting point here to this starting point here. So we know this 
point here is going to be the y or the y axis is going to be zero and the x axis is going to be the width now we could create here a variable and then this one you are going to call x and then there is a parameter or a variable which is called size so we could get the width so this one represent the x value so i like to use this so that i cannot get confused and here i can keep in size that's eight this one is going to represent the y value now after that here also we could create another variable which is called center then we could access this by using size.center and here now we have all our values we could come here and create a line too now we want to move from this point here to this point here then we know that this point here is going to be zero the y-axis is going to be zero and the x-axis is going to be the whole width now for that case here we can input here our x-axis we could use x and here we could keep comma zero f now we have moved to that point now we want to create this curvature here this curve here and to do that there is one method which is called cubic 2 which uses control points in order to draw this line now to do that we could use this cubic 2 and then inside here now we could pass the points so it accepts three points if you come here and hover around and press ctrl q you can see that there are several points which you have to specify the x1 y1 and x2 y2 are control points and x3 and x4 is the destination point so it's going to start from the first point to draw this toward this another point and using these control points to draw the curve now for our case here we have our first control point and we are going to keep this control point to the same position so we want to position these control points at the left edge at the right edge here in order to keep it we want to achieve this perfect curve here so for that we are going to align all of them inside this path here now let's start here to specify our first x1 and here x1 we want to get it the full width which is going to be x now we want to achieve here y1 which is going to be the center so we want to get the center dot y so this one is going to be divided by 2 so this one is going to be the first control point now you have to specify the second control point and here we are going to specify as x okay now here we are going to specify y2 and then we are going to use the center dot y so our two control points here are complete so we have here our first control point and our second control point now we have to specify the last point which is going to be the middle so in order to do this now we can specify here our last point so this one is going to be the destination point which is going to be 0 f then we have to specify the y3 and this one is going to be center dot y so basically here we are going to the center or at the middle of the canvas now after that case we are going to be completing here to create our our path and after that we have to use just draw path here in order to draw this okay now we have completed to create here background now we have to create the text and buttons now to do this we can just jump inside the box scope and start to code inside there so now inside here we can create more room so that we can work with so we are going to create here a column Now for this case here we have to create our first text. So we are going to use here style in order to style our text. So we are going to use the material theme. Then we are going to override the font size and here we want this to be SATA SP. And we can try to import this also here we can create another text which is going to welcome the user so
also this text we want them to be accepting the primary color so we are going to give them the color and then we are going to use the material theme and also we have to add this inside here and for that case we can add here a font size okay now we have to finish to create here and also we have to add a vector drawable so we are going to use the image here and we can use a painter resource and here it's going to get us an id so we can use here our drawable and we want this to be of 34 dp now for that case we have finished to create our first part and we have used the column in order to arrange these in a column format now what we have to do is to create the two patterns which are going to be accessing us to the sign in and sign up now let's just come here below this and collapse this one here so we have finished to create this column here and then we can create here a new column okay now let's create here another column which is going to help us to align these buttons so you have to pass in here modifier and we want this modifier to fill max size now after this one we can try to wrap this modifier okay now what we want here we want to wrap content size and after that we can put the alignment so that we can get a more room here now after we create that padding here now we can create our buttons so we can use a generic button which provided by by jetpack compose and now here we can create the can pass in here modifier okay now we are going to fill the max width and what we want this shape to be a rounded form for our case now it's going to be having a square so what we have to do there is different ways you can try to use a modifier and clip that with a certain shape or you can use a shape which has been provided here so there is this method here or parameter which you can try and pass in here a shape so for our case we are going to use the material theme and we are going to make this using the medium so it's going to give us that rounded corner so after that here we can keep here a text and this one is going to be sign in so after that we have been creating our first text our first button now what we have to do here we are going to copy this and then we are going to paste it also here now we can try to create here a spacer and for example here we can keep this to 16 dp so creating a room between these two text two buttons and also here we have to change this to sign up and beside that we want also this button to be white so what we can do here is change the color so we can use this button default and we can override the button colors and this one is going to override several things here so we can try just to remove this and we have this button colors and here we can easily customize our background color so for example here we can call this background color here and we can use the material theme <coughs> And here the background color which is going to be white so we have used that now for our case here we have completed to create here our application so what we can try and do here we can try to create a preview function so let's create here a preview okay now our preview has finished and as you can see here we have our preview but we have forgotten to add the the theme so we have to come here to this preview here and then we can use this login ui theme and inside here now we can paste this so that it can use that theme and also here this preview here we can set the background to true what also we have to do is to add here a little bit of padding 
and here we can use a spacer and here we can provide for example a size of 16 dp to give this more room and differentiate from this and also here we can try to add a background color what we can do here now we can try just to we can try to wrap all of these inside the surface so that we can provide a background color and that is just a good way to provide a background color so for example if you want to surround this with something so you want to surround this with surface you can press ctrl alt j so it's going to bring up this template here and then we want to surround this with surface and then it's going to do automatically and surround this with the surface now what we want here we want to pass in a material theme and we want to use primary variant here to be our background color now i think we are done and we can try again to rebuild our project and see okay now our preview has finished and as you can see here we have as how we did firstly but when you come here and you can see this text here is not bold enough so we can try and navigate up here so we can just close this and then we can come to this text here and you can try to change this inside the the type here or you can just come here directly and provide so we are going to provide here another font weight so we want to make this bold and now let's just try to rebuild here and see okay now as you can see here now our text here is more bold and now we can focus to create other things so let's just skip this and as you can see here now we have all of our text and we have created this curved background and our buttons here now we want to click this button and navigate to another screen so for now we are just going to create that screen and that screen is going to be let's just navigate here to this sign in here and see what's going to be so as you can see here we have a login page and this login page has two buttons and also we have this checkbox and other things so let's just create this inside android studio 